Coming from a humble background, the man, Sadiq Omar Dawari, the Lon Adamawa, rose to a leader par excellence. He is a household name, not just in Adamawa, but the country at large. His footprint in the agricultural revolution and his constant humanitarian outreach is second to none. But how well did you know the man, Sadiq Omar Dawari? I am Sadiq Dawari, the new Dallawan Adamawa, and this is my story. Al Haji Sadiq Umar Dawari, the Dallawan Adamawa, was born in Dawari on the 12th of June 1973 to the family of Al Haji Umaru Inyako and Al Haji Mariamu Umaru Inyako in Dawari, Dawari District, Fufuri local government area of Adamawa State, a community whose major occupation is farming. Sadiq Dawari had his early primary and secondary education in Dawari Primary School, Government Junior Secondary School Paria, and Government Secondary School Fufure in that order. Afterwards, he proceeded to the then Federal University of Technology, Yola, Nan Modubo Adama University, Yola where he obtained a bachelor's degree of technology in operations research. Growing up, Sadiq Dawari has always been an ambitious child who is always nursing the art of leadership that will prepare him for the future. From his ancestral homeland in Dawari to the heart of the capital city in Yola, the testimony of his early life is captivating and mind-blowing. Kulum had Omu, Umu Hadu, Yaya, Tate Maki, Talaka, Bawuni Mazala, Sadiana de Kirki. We try one way or the other, but we don't know that God will bring somebody like uh, Honorable Sadiq Dawari. He has focus and he also wants to assist. One of the basic things I like about him is that he doesn't drop his friends. Um, I didn't know him from the time memorial. But uh, all the friends, his village friends, his childhood friends, uh, he's still together with them. Slowly and gradually, the entrepreneur of international repute and accomplished practicing farmer, Sadiq Umar Dawari, began to take the mantle of leadership as an administrator par excellence, a benevolent philanthropist, and a pace setter across several fields of human endeavor. It all began in project management, where he headed the Project Monitoring and Performance Evaluation PMPE, Special Project and Programs Unit, SPPU, that coordinated special projects under the office of the then Executive Governor of Adamawa State. This program had far-reaching impact on the lives of many youths in Adamawa State and has remained a go-to project for impactful grassroots reach. However, in order to bring back the lost glory of agricultural potentials of the Northeast, following Boko Haram destruction, Sadiq Dawari initiated the Northeast Commodity Association, NACAS, in order to lift thousands of smallholder farmers out of poverty and have a robust yield. Now I realize we have a lot of uh, potentials now we have vast run across these six states. We have good climate condition for both agri and livestock development. We also have a lot of rivers that have cut across the six states, River, Na River Benue, River Gongola, mentioned with high volume of waters passing through this. All these are, these are resources that we need to tie. So I realized that uh, unless we come as a formidable association with like minds, we cannot be able to grow and probably tap those potentials. And that's why informed me to invite my colleagues across the Northeast to establish the Northeast Commodity Association. And we established that with a very good intention. One, to bring our farmers under one umbrella with a view to give them training on best agronomic practice to also link them with banks so that they can be able to get credit facilities and scale up their capacity. To also link them with agro-processing industries so that they can add value for what they are producing. 
And I'm happy today to inform our, my listeners that in just a space of three to four years, we have empowered over 700,000 farmers across the Northeast. They have now increased their capacity, they are now producing massively, and as a region, we can now boast, beat our chest, and tell whoever cares to listen that the Northeast is producing what can feed this country today. NACAS is also involved in services relating to agriculture and human capacity development across the Northeast region of Nigeria, mainly Adamawa, Bochi, Borno, Gombe, Taraba, and Yobe states. Under his watch, NACAS deployed 600 tractors across the Northeast state in order to revitalize agricultural activities. This is the first time a commodity association that is not a government organization has deployed such a heavy machinery in the agricultural development. In other development, NACAS has also created thousands of skilled and unskilled job opportunities to the theming youth and women. No doubt, Dowry has used NACAS to literally transform the way agriculture is being practiced in the Northeast region. Sadiq Umar Dawari is also a member, board of trustee, Rifan, Rice Farmers Association of Nigeria. In the areas of youth development and promotion of unity, Sadiq Dawari has been organizing youth football tournament and empowerment programs in Adamawa. This is to enable them have a sense of belonging and shown all sort of vices capable of breaching security so as to promote peace and development in the states. Knowing fully well that uh, youths uh, have so much interest in sports and that's what makes me to organize a sporting competition in Fufore local government, first of in kind in Adamawa state. And you are a living witness that they have participated. They are, we are very happy. Some of them are now in other clubs within Nigeria and two we are able to get clubs outside Nigeria to secure uh, a very good uh, 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 sporting activities. So, and that is the essence. As a way of giving back for his community, Sadiq Dawari took the responsibility of rebuilding and overhauling his alma mater, Government Junior Secondary School, Paria. Today, the school is wearing a new look courtesy of Sadiq Umar Dawari. To Dawari, this is a way of giving back for his old school that served as his stepping stone as well as complementing effort of the government on education. In a year to now, local chenda in a Makarantana GSS 2 and had a quiz competition at GMMC. When the one junior secondary school ne from 1, 2, 3 GMMC, the CL was on the form 1, 2, 3, 4, up to 5. Now, an unselected name of the Ganang, the Mathematics Quiz Competition. In JSS 2, I'm a Munjia Munkara, the Muta and the Suki, GMMC, the Yelwa, I can remember very well. One day, the Ita, Sunanta Hadiza Garba, like I've been saying in Ataki and Zuba, Yerwur Okini, local Chintana JSS 3, Nina JSS 2, Munjia Munya representing Government Junior Secondary School Paria. And in our local chain, we have beat almost all the schools there by coming first position. So, Kaduk in the Nigeria Duni at Anna Nafara, Nazona Nagadegas here, the place is not looking nice. Kuma, uh, His Excellency the Governor of Adamawa State, has embarked on critical infrastructure that have direct benefits to people of Adamawa State. However, resources at his disposal are limited, unlike before. So only God knows how the magic he is doing in infrastructures we are doing. So the stake, critical stakeholders also need to come and help. That is why Nacheto Nima Badin Zumbada Gudum Mawata. Aka do aka fara ashe aka makaranta kan gaba daya ya rube. Shi yasa kike ga aka yi gyaran nan. Kuma ina baki assurance that insha Allah za mu ci gaba da taimaka ma iyayen mu. Ba wanda zai taimaki iyayen mu fiye da fiye da mu. So kamar yanda kika gani mun yi wannan Furnitures kuma insha Allah za mu iya gurgudo mu kace wa mun ba su furnitures. So da Allah Alhaji Usman a made hankali a yi good landscaping a gaban nan. Yan karasar kuma a yi kokari a bada furniture. So to students kun ga dai kokarin da muke yi muku. 
mu dinnan kama ko muke ya farmers ya yar talakawa amma ubangiji ya taimake mu saboda me mu mai da hankali wajen karatu mun zama muna da biyayya wajen iyayenmu da kuma malaman mu muna yin abubuwa masu kyau ba mu yin abubuwan da mara kyau so muna kiran ku iyayen mu don Allah ku yi abubuwan da yake da kyau ku yi karatu ku yi da'a ku yi biyayya da malaman ku da kuma shugabannin ku anan kun ga dai honorable commissioner ta bar duk abin da take yi despite kafanta na ciwo ta zo nan saboda ta zo ta ganku to na tabbata za ta je ta yi briefing mai his excellency kuma lokacin da zamu zo mu yi commissioning in an gama komai da kujero da windoji da landscaping da makaranta na tabbata za ku ji dadi kuma lokacin insha Allah zan kira abokanaina mu zo mu ba ma yara scholarship mu zo mu tabbatar cewa duk wa'anda suka zo to number 1 number 2 number 3 best student in math best student in english physics kamar yanda ita honorable commissioner ta in fact ita commissioner ne za ta bada prize na best physics students so insha Allah za mu ci gaba da taimaka muku iyayenmu mutanen fariya mun gode muku kware da gaske the state commissioner for education mrs rubina jackson during an inspection visit to the school commend sadik dawari and calls on other well meaning individuals to emulate the exemplary character of sadik dawari i am challenged by what alaji sadik kumar did i i want all my students those that are past and those that are here to come to behave like that come back and do this good work it has been done in jmmc and it's the first time i'm seen out, out outside jmmc the legacies and achievements of sadik umar dawari have not gone unnoticed as the fombina kingdom after beaming its such light on the humanitarian icon the lamido of adamawa dr barkindo aliyo mustafa bestowed the traditional title of dallawan adamawa on sadik dawari because of his massive contributions to the growth and development of the state honestly speaking when news broke that uh, uh, i was given the lamido the 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 dallawan adamawa state i was shocked not because i don't have the capacity to be the dalla wan adama but because i feel there are a lot of people outside that are more qualified than me but when the letter came that i'm appointed i realize that yes i've been doing a lot of things not knowing that it has been uh on public domain not realizing that it has touched life of many people in Adamawa state so uh giving me an opportunity to serve as Dalla wan Adamawa has also opened up a lot of challenges for me on the 19th of November 2021 Sadiq Dawari led a high powered delegation to the Lamido's palace on a thank you visit this ceremony was attended by friends family associates as well as well wishes who throng the palace to catch a glimpse of the historic moments the leader of the delegation AIG Lawal Tanko Jimeta commandant Nigerian Police Academy Wodili appreciates Lamido Adamawa for finding Sadiq Dawari worthy for the traditional title of Allawan Adamawa promising that Dawari will never to let the Fombina Emirate down Dawida Karanchi da mutunci da martaba da aka yi mana da aka ba wa kanin mu wannan sarauta na Allawan Adamawa muna godiya mutuka Number seven. Ayo na tobatarma da dukkan butarin adama akan cewa wanda arzikin da aka yi mana wanda aka ba kanin mu da lawan adama mun tabbatar cewa an bashi ne saboda 
Pendant Adama Sisa Dick, le tourné Wanda, il y en a de Guazo, il y en a de Gaskia, comme il y en a de Seigneur Wanda, de comme il y en a de Massarotar Adama. Si on ne savait pas de Dallon Adama, il y en a de Sani de Massolé Linda, le tourné Adama Kitchiki. Musamman ma mano ma da makiyawa Yana kuma insha Allahu Yana kuma da tafida Sare sare ma sikew Ndomi inga ntanoma Da kiyo awanna masarota Da kuma adama Ndomi adaya insha Allahu Daga garishi Mere marchawa Munak ada godia, munak ada godia mah dari kau dekai mana? Si Allah in Allah dah nak usah dah asal ni si mobil yang ni gawat nama serata dah kumaduk kan syurga bani dekai kata singka insya Allah mungkin. Mungu de kumuna kara godia Allah ya kara madaraja Ya kara masawai Ya kara maupazo Ya kuma kara matusai Mungu de Mungu kara godia Ya marusawa Here, the new Dallawa Drew up a road map And intimated the Lamido of Adamawa His two powerful agendas That he intends to pursue As part of his contributions To the kingdom these include organizing a sensitization workshop for 600 teenage girls on personal hygiene and distribution of hygiene kits and the Dunlawan 30 Years Livestock Strategic Development Plan. Sadiq, as I know him, as his national secretary, I know his passion, his commitment, his uh, love for Adama, especially Adama State in general. I know how he has struggled a lot, particularly in my little course of uh, interacting with him during our NECA's operations. Uh, whatever he will do, he will always try to think of Adamawa. That is why you can see that the headquarters of NECA is in Adamawa. That is why you can see that when we were launching the tractors, five, six hundred tractors for nurses, it was done in Adamawa. That is why you can see that when we were launching recovery, where we brought people from across the country to the nurses part of it, it was done in Adamawa. So Adidas has a real passion for Adamawa people. He has passion for Adamawa Emirate, and he has passion for, for the development of this area. I think the confinement of this great title on him is not related. On Saturday, 28, 2021, Sadiq Dawari begins the implementation of one of such agendas for 600 teenage girls across 21 local government areas of Adamawa. The program, which is in collaboration with Royalty Women for Peace and Development, Ropedi, sensitized the teenage girls on personal hygiene and distributed hygiene kits to the girls. This is the first time such a gesture is coming to the doorstep of young girls in the States. Despite uh, improvement in the life of our people, life is still very hard in this country particularly the northeast part of this country. And uh, this, those young girls that were trained are our sisters. We knew what is happening within us in the houses. A father, when he wakes up in the morning, the first thing that he thinks is how he can be able to provide food for the family, at least for that day. All other things are secondary. And personal hygiene for teenage girls is very important. Young men can just wake up in the morning, take off their bath with or without soap, move on. And young girls cannot do that. Their body is very sensitive. So they have to get good management of their body. One, getting a good sanitary parts. Secondly, get a good soap that they can be able to take bath and wash their clothes 
and so on. So that is what I realized. And I said, I asked few people, particularly, I informed my wife, please, you are women, please, how do you think those teenage girls feel in this situation? So they have also sympathized with the, with the situation and encouraged me that, please, if you can be able to provide training and probably sanitary kids for this young girl, it will go a long way, not only touching their own life as an individual, but also helping their family in making sure that they have a good, healthy life now and in the near future. Honestly speaking, uh, on that day, uh, I, I even about shedding tears because of how I have seen I have seen happiness on their faces. And I realize that the 600 we are talking about is grossly inadequate. We have a lot of them outside that need this type of support. And I'm assuring people of Adama State, particularly under the Adama Emirate Council, who will continue to support those young girls. We will even support their mothers by providing them with the same sanitary kit, because it is not only teenage girls. Even the women out there also in need of it. And you know, because of this type of environment we are living, our culture, our tradition, is very difficult for a woman to open up and tell uh, their male counterpart the challenges they are facing. Particularly, it relates uh, to their own uh, uh, health. So this is an important aspect. And I'm today happy because I'm getting a lot of feedback far and near that this is the first of its kind that police I should go ahead and continue supporting not only the teenage girls but the women in Adamawa State at large. Wife of the State Governor, Hajia Lami Fintari, represented by Honorable Commissioner for Education, Mrs. Wilbina Jackson, and wife of Lamido Adamawa, Her Royal Majesty, Aisha Tuberkindo Aliu, and other guest speakers and dignitaries lauded the effort of Dalawan Adamawa for touching the lives of teenagers in Adamawa. Her Excellency say I should bring her greetings to all of us here and especially to the 600 women and also the anticipated 200 girls that will pass this examination. I wish us all the best of love. I just want to welcome you all on this historic occasion, one of its kind, I am overwhelmed by what is happening. As you have grown with knowledge that will help you today as a teenage girl and also help you tomorrow as a mother yourself to put judicious views to the personal kids given to you and to make a takeaway of the knowledge acquired that you may have something to share with your peers and a treasure of knowledge that you will also impact on you daughters as God present you uh, present them to you in the nearest future. As you consider our plight and provide solutions to our problems, may you abundantly reward it. On this note I want to say a big thanks. Thank you. In the court of public opinion, the community engagement and programs of the humanitarian Sadiq Dawari, the law and Adamawa have further strengthened the dignity, peace and progress of the ancient Fombina kingdom. This is the coming of another Messiah. This is the story of the law and Adamawa. <laughs>